Now this is December through February weather. 33 degrees, Monday, December the 18th. Look how fast those clouds are moving. It is cold and crappy and windy. And a few snow showers, especially in the northern part of Indiana, it's gonna snow a lot. But today we just had some snow flurries. Cloudy, miserable, ugh. Where is summer? Yeah, here's Monday's launch, a little chicken filly. Just driving by, sounded good. Gonna be delicious. Happy winter, friends. Six o'clock, dark. We could not put our uh, inflatables up because, if you can hear and see, the wind is 20 to 30 miles an hour. It's been snow flurrying all day. The clouds are moving quick. I am freezing, getting ready to go pick up some food. We got lights on over there. Right, Here we go, pizza night. Well, Domino's thin crust, normal, some pasta, and some garlic cheese bread. It is deliciousness. And it awaits us. How about that? When it's 15 degrees outside, or it feels like it's 15 outside, you start a little uh, fake fire. It warms the place up. And we got Harry Potter fighting. He who must not be named. Hello, good evening. Happy Monday night. It was a very busy night. Did a lot of stuff. Um, Domino's Pizza is now on the list that we can't eat for a while. It uh, kind of upset the tummies. Uh, it was okay. It was fine, but... <clears throat> we've had it I think too frequently recently so anyway it is freezing cold outside like would it feel like 15 or something um really really windy uh amazingly all the clouds kind of disappeared it's a crystal clear night out I wish I could get the camera out and actually show the stars because there's a lot of cool stars out there but when I do that you can't see anything so we'll look into that but uh took the kitty outside for a few minutes she's got that big old winter coat and Really enjoyed it. But uh, anyway, we watched the Monday Night Football game. The Eagles lost to the Seahawks. Kind of a bad loss for the Eagles, but... Um, well, Jalen Hurts was sick. <clears throat> Jalen Hurts, the Eagles quarterback, flew in his own plane from Philadelphia to Seattle because he has not felt well, had the flu, um, coming out of the attic in the basement. And he basically was... They kind of had him fly by himself so he didn't get anybody else sick. And then when they got to the locker room, he was right next to everybody and on the bench ended up he played actually played really well uh their defense just made a couple errors at the end and then he threw a terrible pick but anyway that's it for um that's it three, three weeks for uh three weeks of football left which is super sad but our Colts are still in the playoff hunt playoff spot basically they control their own destiny which is crazy and then also um the big news of the day if you're a North Carolina fan it's very very sad because Eric Montross passed away he uh nine months ago got diagnosed with cancer he is here from, he uh, uh, grew up and played high school ball here in Indianapolis. Um, a really high recruit, was supposed to go to IU and actually kind of turned the tables at the very end and went to North Carolina. Led him to the 1993 championship. He was one of my favorites. He's on my Mount Rushmore of players. So it's super sad. Um, I liked him because he was an Indiana boy, uh, big dude, um, uh, wore number double zero. That was really cool back in the day in the early 90s. I had his North Carolina jersey. And then he played for the Celtics, so I had a Celtics jersey. I literally had like four of his jerseys. So um, kind of sad when one of your when one of your uh, favorite players passes away. But he just had cancer. They diagnosed nine months ago, and there were some people talking um, on the radio and some interviews today that he was messaging them over Thanksgiving, saying, "Hey, I can't wait to see you guys over Christmas." And I don't know what type, but <clears throat> apparently it got. I don't know, but anyway, it was. It's really sad because all these people were like. Yeah, they were texting over Thanksgiving, say they're going to see each other for Christmas or New Year's. So tough. But um, anyway, make sure you, if you're thinking about going to see somebody, make sure you make, give them a call. Go and visit them. So that's the lesson of the day. Um, it was a busy Monday, a good Monday, but uh, we're on to Tuesday. A couple calls in the morning. Um, not much else going on. Uh, this is the last full day for Luke. Um, the finals started today and then they go all week. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the high school is out at uh, like 1130 or something. So we'll see, um, how we, uh, how we do with that. But, um, other than that, what do we got? Not much. I have a lunch on Thursday and then a video shoot middle of the day Friday. But other than that, that's kind of it. So kind of got to get ready for Christmas and keep the countdown. Let's go look at the calendar and, uh, head on to Tuesday, right? First we check on this little kitty. Look at her. What are you doing? Why? Bath time, just rolling around in the living room. Look at these gigantic boxes. Look at those things. Humongous. The kids love their chairs. 
said they're the best gaming chairs they've had. Very good for that. They're very happy, not very good. Thanks, Costco. So weird, isn't it? Oh, hey. Oh, what's that? What are we doing? Here we go. Here is day number 18. Mittens. A pair of blue mittens. We are three rows done. We got six more days left. A week from today is the big day. And there's our Santa. The Merry Christmas Countdown. It's a Christmas countdown. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Happy Monday night. Talk to you later. See ya.